Ah, hello. This week we will talk about coordination and subordination. I've picked a few sentences from the book. Um, it's the exercise right after the one that is due on uh, Monday. Um, I want to take you through subordination and coordination because when you're going to subordinate and you're going to coordinate, two different things are happening. To me, coordination is like adding. You are adding together two or more equal thoughts, items, or verbs. They are the same in importance, and we're talking about importance here. Okay. Um, when you use coordination, you're looking for something that is the same in importance. When you subordinate, <clears throat> you are making a decision about what is most important when you connect two ideas. You want to connect the two ideas because they are related. So you have two related ideas. Which is more important? And that's the questions you ask. Now, talking about coordination and subordination, all of you have been doing it. Every single one of you throughout this semester. And what I find is happening, and it happens in, in all classes with every time I've talked... Um, with my teaching grammar um every time when we get to subordination coordination students go i don't understand it um and it, it just messes them up okay and uh i'm hoping that you don't get messed up um so i'm going to show you some things okay my first three sentences are jenny get up or get up jenny mom would call on saturday mornings we've got to get going or you'll miss the bargains. Now, I think the first sentence is just fine, but I'm wondering why we have the or here when we could just put the or there. Now, we're coordinating, excuse me, yeah, coordinating two complete sentences. When you do that, and you have the and, or the or, or the but, you're going to put a comma. Okay? So what we did with that one was we left the first sentence alone, and then we coordinated the next two sentences because um, they are the same. We decided they are the same of, 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 of the same importance, okay? Now, if you think, nah, I don't want that, I don't think that's uh, the same importance, um, you might want to use some coordination. We've got to get going if we don't want to miss the bargains. But look how many extra words that is, and we really don't need it. This is, um, well, I can't spell today. This is subordination. Because we're using if to make the dependent clause. The next one, Mom dragged me to every garage sale in town. This happened most of my childhood. I, I think these are, I think this is, um, not needed. So I think all you need is really most of my childhood. And I'm just going to use a simple prep phrase during most of my childhood. Okay. You'd get to them early and she'd pick through the lamps. Um, again, we're using coordination here because they're equal ideas. Okay. We could also remember uh, infinitive clauses or infinitive phrases. She'd get to them early to pick 
through the lamps. We have coordination or we have an infinitive clause. Now this one's really easy. She picked through the toasters and the couches. Notice it's three we're adding together. They're all of equal importance. We have commas between all of them even before the and. And then we're going to just add the participle clause looking for bargains. So notice how I'm using coordination for the items that she's adding together or the nouns. Okay. All right, she picked. She talked to other women. Well, this is pretty easy, right? Because it was happening together. Oh, we don't need the comma. We're adding two verbs together, just two of them, and talk to other women. Or she, you could say, oh, and is coordination. Or we could say, oops, that would help if you typed right. She picked while. She talked to other women. Now we got subordination. But you have to ask yourself, what do you want? Do you want those two ideas the same? Or do you want one of them, while she talked to other women, less important? That's up to you as a writer. That's a stylistic thing. And that's what learning grammar can help you do. Pick up on the way you're writing and add different elements to it. I've got one more before I let you go. At the same time, I'd scrounge through boxes of games and I'd scrounge through boxes of toys. Oh, come on. This is easy. Right? We're going to coordinate these items. And of toys. And what can we do here that would be really simple? Use your infinitive phrase. And... Oh, look how easy. Add together again coordination and Barbie clothes. So what I did was I coordinated items and the first two were uh, games and toys and I coordinated Barbies and Barbie clothes. And then I just added an infinitive phrase, or yeah, an infinitive phrase to add to my collection. Hopefully, you're starting to see the way you can use all the different uh, constructions we've been learning in in this. Um, we didn't just use subordination, we just didn't use coordination, we used a combination. Hopefully you're getting a little better at it. Um, try to apply some of the things that I did um, as you're working through the assignment and let me know um, if you have any questions and I will probably have more comments for you after I review the discussion board. Bye bye.